Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This will be for September 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading, so it's not going to suit every person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it doesn't, that's fine. You don't see me thumbs down, just scroll on by. Um, and look at other readers. There'll be somebody who might suit you more. So as I said, it's a general reading. Can't suit every single person out there. Um, also, time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind as well. And maybe, maybe you just didn't like to hear the truth. Could also be that. Okay, Cancer. What have you got going on? Yeah. Heartbreak, pain, deception, separation, shocking attack. I don't feel like you've moved on from that yet. So you could have been cheated on now or in the past. You need to heal your past hurts and to change your future. As I said, seduction. Somebody could have been flirting, dating, hooking up, some sort of temptation, some sort of third party. Um, maybe because they're a runner in a codependent relationship. So this could be your person or you. Somebody was probably cheating on the other person. Um, they're not seeing it yet. So whether this person's cheating on you, you're not seeing it yet. Um, but because you you could be the codependent one, and I know from previous readings, you are codependent for a lot of you. So if you are the codependent person, it could be that somebody else is doing the wrong thing, the cheating, the, sed the seduction, flirting, dating. There's a third party. Yeah, you're seeing things differently than what they are. As I said, you're not seeing what's happening in this situation at all. And you're not even sticking to your deal breakers. There are things that... You said, I will never date someone who does blah or who has this habit or who's an alcoholic, a drunk, a druggie, a cheater, a whatever. But you are. Um, you need to recondition your subconscious mind to change your life, maybe change your belief system, um, change what it is, stick to your deal breakers, you know. Give yourself time to heal because the right one can't come if the wrong one's around. You are in a codependent relationship. You fear abandonment. So at the moment, you know, you're going to reflect, You're go sorry, you're going to attract relationships that reflect your wounds. You need to do some work on you. This person could have cheated on you, cheated on you now or in the past. This could have already happened or will happen. It could have an addiction to sex. Okay, so tell me more, please, about the cheater. And they're not wanting to move on from this situation. Yeah. Like, it probably caused you a lot of anxiety, but I feel like there are secrets you don't know about, or once again, that you are not seeing. You are not seeing this. You're seeing things very different from how they are. So I feel like, you know, it's probably causing you, well, maybe you need to see the secrets first of all, but it will probably cause you a lot of inner turmoil once you find out. And I feel like once you do, you will move on. I know I said that before. And then there'll probably be no communication with this person. You'll make a positive movement forward once you release this person. Because this person, once again, as I said, is like the devil energy. They have addictions. Whether it's sex, I think it's sex. It's going to say that it's sex, especially if they've cheated on you. They could also have addictions to drugs, sex, money, alcohol, gambling. It could be codependency as well, as I said. 
and you're going to get some clarity about that. Like the same situation, the same cards kind of keep coming out no matter what readings I do for you guys. It's like you're not seeing it. You're not. And when you do, then you are going to move on from this person because you're going to realize, well, I don't want that. But will you because you're codependent? You might tolerate their shit. Once again, figure out your deal breakers. Are you sticking by your deal breakers? Yeah, somebody has options. Too many choices. They have com commitment problems. Um, you know, they're self-indulgent. See, the, you're seeing, it's like there's an illusion that you think about this person and some sort of fantasy that you want this situation, like wishful thinking, you want this guy to be this or girl to be this particular type of person and this relationship to be a certain type of relationship, but it's not. It's based on lies, secrets, king of pentacles. Like, I feel like, what's the... King of Pentacles is somebody who's very good with money and, you know, they have security, they're competent, they have world experience, they, you know, and I feel like that's the kind of person you want. But And I think maybe that's the kind of person you think this person is. But I'm telling you this person, I mean, once again, we keep talking about see the person for what they are and I feel like you are going to get some clarity about this situation but also you think that this that they could be this kind of person when i feel like they've definitely got some sort of sex related thing going on they're very charming you know Probably a narcissist, but they're very confident, they're very charming, they're, you know, they have experience. <coughs> okay, let's look at the next row. So, as I said, there's some sort of, they're doing something, whether it's flirting, dating, hooking up, third party, attracted to somebody, um... And I feel like they're, this is all part of a codependent relationship. Okay, tell me more about seduction. Too many. Yeah. I mean, there is no positive movement forward made in this situation. And also feel like somebody's very true folk. They want this situation to be perfect. It, rather than see it for what it is, they want it to be perfect, but also feel like they're so focused on everything being perfect. Everything being what they want it to be. But it's not. Somebody's being very dishonest. They're also not taking accountability for their actions. Um, Yeah, I feel like, though, for you, it's a spiritual lesson because you need to look at what expectations you have in a relationship. You need to look at your values. Are they the same? I'm thinking they're not because this person is okay cheating. And there is no firm foundation. You're also not looking to move on and leave the past behind. Okay, tell me more. Yeah. Eight of Wands in reverse. I mean, this is somebody who there's either miscommunication, there will be some sort of violent situation, there might be they might be resisting the change because you know you need to get rid of this person, you know you need to walk away, but will you? Maybe there is no communication once you find this out. Because somebody's going to come tell you. Someone's going to let you know. And you've also got the Ace of Cups. I mean, it's all about their ego, really. 
somebody's very selfish and I feel like you know there's probably going to be some sort of breakup that's going to happen so you're seeing things you've previously been seeing things very different from what they are tell me about that because you want everything to be perfect yeah you're not seeing look I mean you're not seeing it you're not trusting your intuition you're not seeing their illusion which guess what seven of swords their secrets there is secrets you're not wanting to see that though I can't say like I sound so cocky and I'm not meaning to be see the situation please see the situation for what it is like I feel like this is the same storyline and I shuffle the cards see the situation for what it is because this person is being deceptive this person this person has secrets and I'm telling you they are cheating I'm telling you they have an addiction to sex I'm telling you they are being dishonest and they're not taking accountability for their actions yeah see it for what it is see it for what it is there's an illusion that they're putting on when really behind closed doors they haven't been that honest to you about their past about what they're doing you need to spend some time alone You've got to take the action though. Be determined, take the action, and then you will succeed. But you've got to you've got to do it to make the change. Let me get ultra view. Yeah, it's gonna take strength and it's also you need to do some self-healing yourself. There's an there's in this situation there is no stability. There is no well, this person is probably immature. There probably is no flexibility. But I feel like there's definitely no stability in this situation. And you need to work on you and do the self-healing, as I said. Five of Wands in reverse. You know, you're trying to avoid everything. You're trying to avoid conflict with this person. You just think you're one of these people who would rather keep everything in <coughs> than say to this person, you're an ass. You've done this to me. See ya. Speak your truth. Speak up. Stand your ground. This person is a douche. And for people who don't know what douche means, you know, idiot. This person's an idiot. This, but You deserve better than this piece of crap is all I'm saying. Sorry, douche is probably a slang term here, but this person's not good for you. They're not for your highest good. I know that you think... You're gonna you wanted this, you know, they're like your perfect person, they're your kindred spirit, they're your, you know, romantic love, and maybe you fell in love at first sight, whatever this is. But I'm telling you, it's a spiritual lesson, and the quicker you figure that out, then things that are good things are gonna start happening in your life because you're gonna get rid of something that is not good for you. As I said, you are gonna recover from someone who left you out in the cold. It's going to cause you anxiety, fear, worry, depression, you know, all the overactive mind. You're probably not going to sleep good, you know, all those things. And maybe you don't even now because you know, you probably know that you know that there's something that's not so good in this situation. For those of you that, you know, trust your intuition. Right, so tell me, why do you not stick to your deal breakers? As I said, probably because you're codependent. You think you need someone to make you happy. You need to recondition your subconscious mind. You need to do maybe some meditation, do something like that, because this situation is not offering you a firm foundation. And you are going to get clarity about it. Hopefully it's before you have kids with this person. Um, for those of you that are that age, 
um, nurture you, just look after you. Stop trying to avoid this situation from crashing down because it's going to happen. As I said, some of you, you're going to be like, oh, you cheated on me. Oh, okay, there is no firm foundation. You're dishonest. You probably are addicted to sex and probably cheated on me. You've lied this whole time. Someone's probably doing wrong, but you know what? Oh, I won't listen to my deal breakers. I will tolerate shit and we will reconcile. Because, oh, I love you. And I know you love me even though you're cheating on me and you're a piece of crap. Do the self-healing. Stand your ground. That's all I can say. Like, it's sad to think that so many people and so many of us tolerate so much shit when we know we deserve better. And it's because at the time, we don't think we do deserve better. Focus on your self-worth. As I said, if you did, you knew your self-worth, would you tolerate this? Probably not. Five of Cups. You're feeling unloved, you're feeling abandoned, you're feeling uh, dwelling on the negative, you know, self-pity, um, you know, frustration, you're probably feeling abandoned or unloved, whatever this is. As I said, you thought this person was going to give you your wishes fulfilled. You thought this person was your person. But you're going to figure it out. You're going to get clarity. You're going to be like... I don't want this situation. As much as this person wants to reconcile with me, I don't want to reconcile with them. Or vice versa. And you know what? I mean, hopefully you are the one that walks away from this person if they want to reconcile. I know you're that you're a codependent person, but I'm really hoping you realize you deserve better. But you've got some decisions to do. Someone's juggling people, juggling things, as I said. It's a spiritual lesson for you. You keep trying to avoid this situation from crashing down like the tower. But every single time, you are going to move on. It's your choice. It's your choice whether you choose to tolerate complete crap with somebody who's doing wrong by you or do you want to move on and leave the past behind and have a happy home learn the lesson I mean for some of you you feel like you haven't got closure but I'm telling you every single time they're gonna stab you in the back it's gonna end with you completely hurt but every single time you're like oh Oh, I don't know if I can get rid of it. Oh, I don't know if I can end this. You're really resisting the change. I need to do some work on me. I need to get rid of whatever doesn't serve me. And this situation does not serve me. But oh, which one? Which one? Choices. You got choices. As I said back in the beginning. Two choices. Someone's juggling. Oh, I don't know which option I should go. Should I go option A and leave them because they're a piece of crap? Or should I stick with somebody who's a liar, cheater, whatever? Your choice. What are your deal breakers? You know? You will end up making progress, but I feel like it's going to be slow. But you are going to end up breaking the cycle. That is your choice. And it's a spiritual lesson. And there's always going to be this anxiety, fear, worry, blah, blah, blah. It's going to be the same crap every single time. But it's up to you what you're willing to tolerate. But at the moment, you're not even seeing this situation for what it is. So until someone tells you, answer. <laughs> I should go buy a lottery ticket is all I'm thinking. I don't pick these cards. 
release your ex release this person as i said it's because you don't love yourself you need to heal some issues that you've got going on stop trying to control it you're trying to control this person being a good person they're being this king of pentacles that you so want unfortunately what's that saying about you can't there's a saying <laughs> it's something about you can't make shit pretty i can't think of a quote um you know shit is shit whether you try to make it look better than it is shit is shit and that's pretty much what it's saying I wish I could remember the quote. It's pretty funny, actually, but there is a quote. If someone knows it, write it down below. I'd love to know what it is. But, yeah. Okay, Cancer. I'm using the um, Crystal Oracle. I haven't used these ones, I don't think, in a reading, so I thought maybe I have a long time ago. I'm not sure, but, but why not? So, Citrine. Healing. It's all about healing. And abundance it talks about healing as i said the financial concerns will begin to dissolve as a steady stream of abundance starts to flow into many areas of your life this is not abundance or oh, this is in reverse though so you need to do the healing and probably a lack of abundance um not abundance solely on a monetary level but creativity and healing as i said you're not doing the healing you need to let go of any fear and guilt that you may be holding on to in regard to your wealth and prosperity you're not you're not you haven't let go of any fear and guilt um you need to replenish your spirit you deserve to be and have all your heart desires lovingly recognize the abundance you eternally hold within your heart and you will manifest abundance through all you think say and do you haven't dealt with your healing so there is no abundance in this situation because the person's doing you wrong for a start right selenite it's all about communication telepathic communication love and healing you know um go within do the work on you and do the healing right cancer that is what i have for you i hope that resonates if it does please don't forget to share like and subscribe and i will catch you with the next video thanks so much for watching okay bye